Hi, this is Zach from MindyMy.com, and if you've recently installed a plugin for WordPress and you cannot log into your WordPress admin account because either you get a white screen after you try to log in or some other error where you cannot get to your plugins and disable the one that's causing a problem, I'm going to show you a solution to that. We're going to go to the database and we're going to disable all the plugins. So that will allow you to go to your WordPress admin, enable the plugins you need, and delete the one that's causing the problem. So first thing you need to do is go to your cPanel for your hosting and you need to go to phpMyAdmin. Now if you don't know the login details to phpMyAdmin, it should be in the WordPress config file which is located in the file manager. So go ahead and go to that, look for the details, and then log in. Once you're in phpMyAdmin, go ahead and scroll down until you find WP Options. So there it is, WordPress Options. Go ahead and click that. Once we're in WordPress Options, we're going to run an SQL query. So let's go ahead and go to our SQL tab. Once we're in the SQL tab, I've got a query in the description of this video. So go ahead and copy and paste that. So delete all that and then paste. So it's going to select from WordPress options where option name equals active plugins. So it's going to pull all the active plugins. So go ahead and run that. Down here it go. All right. So it's got all the active plugins right here. We're going to go ahead and edit that. Go ahead, copy or cut all of this. Open up a notepad. Let me see where's the notepad. There we go. Alright, go ahead and paste all of that into a notepad and make sure you save it because you want to keep this just in case something goes wrong. So go ahead and save that. After you do that, go ahead and click go and it's going to save that. It's going to disable all the plugins and now you're going to be able to log into your WordPress uh, admin. And from there, go ahead and go to your plugins page and enable all the plugins you need and disable the last plugin you've downloaded because it's probably the one causing an error. Hope this video could help. Like this video, check out the written tutorial on my website, it's going to be in the description of this video. Subscribe, and thanks for watching this video.